Good afternoon, everyone from Manila, and good evening from Japan, and welcome back to another episode of Mississology Beauty Talks. And today we are joined by former Mississology correspondent and Miss International Marketing Manager Stephen Diaz, who I'm sure is very Hello. excited Konbawa. today. I'm so excited. Yes. So, can you give us a, a short background of our special guest for tonight? Well, of course, the special guest tonight is very special because she is not just a beauty queen, but she also made history by becoming the first Miss International from the land of the rising sun mm -hmm. after so many decades of not even placing in the in the top three and uh, not even not even that having so many runners up. But after fifty two years. The land of the rising sun, Japan, which is the organizer of Miss International, has finally crowned their own home, their own beauty queen, and she's yeah. none other than the very beautiful Ikumi Yoshimatsu. Yeah, and here she is. Hello, Ikumi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for How... having me tonight. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you. Oh, thank How you. are you? I'm doing good. Actually, I'm stuck in Japan, so I'm. This is first time to spending so much time in Japan since I moved to America. <laughs> yeah, that's true because I've, you have been based in Hollywood, so that's why yes. we seldom see each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've but heard now a lot I'm of in Tokyo. I've heard a lot of good <laughs> things about you from Stephen, and I'm very excited <laughs> to start this interview. So, first of all. I want to know how did you um, begin joining beauty pageant? So how did it start for you? Uh, it's it's a make story story longer, but um, I was born in countryside. So and then my family is really special. Um, mm -hmm. I my fa my dad was Olympian, so I was born mm -hmm. like. He expected I was oldest child for him, and he expected a boy, but I was a girl, so he was so disappointed. And you know, so I shamed myself. I didn't like myself. I tried to be replaced what he wants to, what he wanted, you know. Mm. So, and he was athlete Olympian for track and field. So I follow his uh, way to to track track and field, and then I chose the same field my dad did. So I was a hundred hurdle, hundred meter hurdler when I was small, and I couldn't number one even represent of Japan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my dad was so disappointed. I tried to pay attention from him. And then I escaped from my hometown and then I went to Tokyo. And then I discovered beauty pageant. And then at the time, I remember the Ch Kurara, Ch uh, Kurara san. She was the mm -hmm, Miss Universe. That was 2007, I believe. Six. six yes six so 2006 mm -hmm. and then i found oh maybe if i tried beauty pageant i could be represent of japan you know so yes. that's then i started to when i was 18 i started to train by myself and then i participate every single beauty yeah. pageant yeah, yeah and you, then, you first you first joined uh, Miss Universe Miss Universe Japan in two thousand seven. Yeah, uh, which was won by Rio Mori. Mm -hmm. I was so nervous, and then I have no idea any. I was like maybe nineteen years old or twenty years old, so I have no idea about fashion, how to walk, and then PR myself, introduce myself, or vision. We, I have no idea about that. So the national director <laughs> told me that, you know, you were like, you know, they don't care about me at all. So I felt <laughs> like 
my existence was so small <laughs> and that I was hopeless. But I remember that somehow I have confidence because my background is sports. So yes. I knew if I keep practicing, if I, you know, reputation is everything. If keep doing that, then I can make a result. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned uh, if you keep doing that, you will you will get the result that you want. So after Miss Universe Japan, you joined another uh, pageant, Miss Bikini International mm -hmm. Japan, and then you also joined Miss Earth Japan. Yes. Until finally, you won uh, Miss International Japan in uh, 2012. Mm -hmm. So how dif how different was it competing in different pageant systems, and what? do you think was uh, the, the game changer that made you win finally after a, a, a lot of years of uh, attempting? Um, yeah, the each pageant's a little bit slightly different, but I would say it's, um, uh, it's not huge, huge difference, you know, just we have to be, have, we have to walk in and deliver speech, but Miss International is, fo I knew, more focus on inside beauty, like more intelligence one. So I brushed up myself to look up inner beauty, to study a lot about politics and studied about a lot women's issue and children education and all environments, all that kind of stuff. I learned a lot. And what made me uh, won Miss International was by the time 2012, before that I had so many experienced beauty pageants because I went to Miss Bikini, I went to Miss Tourism International, I went to uh, top, Next Top Model and also Miss Universe Japan, Miss Earth Japan, you know, so I, have I I was comfortable to be on the stage and also I was very competitive. I could allow me to compete with other contestants at the time. Mm -hmm. So I would say um, I was I had very confidence at the time and very competitive. That makes me one Miss International. Mm -hmm. Do you think having a, a sports background um, gave you that discipline? to be able to uh, hurdle all those pageants before getting into the international pageant? Yes, definitely. Um, it's not exactly the same, the sports and beauty pageant, yes. but mentally is very, a lot of common point. Mm -hmm. So, and sports, being an athlete is really strict about relationship with uh, senpai, the, how can I say? Um, Your senior, the yeah, seniors. seniors, and have to be on time or appre appreciation to people who support, and have to deal with stress, have to deal with um, pressure, and in the pressure, in a lot of stress, I have to perform in the sports. You know, so it's this. I would say, beauty pageant is the same. So sports affects me uh, mentally more than physically. Mm -hmm. That's very true, actually. Here in Japan, when you are a sports athlete, and I think most students have that experience um, being involved in a bukatsu or in a sports mm -hmm. club in your school from junior high school until high school mm -hmm. or even in the university if you're really that good. So I can yeah. vouch to what Ikumi said regarding the discipline that it has taught them. Because if you are a sports athlete, I think it's also the same with Rio Mori when she joined Miss Universe because she is a dancer. Mm -hmm. So there is this some sort of a discipline. And I agree with what Ikumi said regarding the, the, the mental strength that it has brought her through the years. Mm -hmm. Especially that your sport is an individual sport. So you really have to be your best version every time. Mm -hmm. It's not like a team sport, right? Because you're in the track and field. Yeah, but I used to play volleyball for seven years mm -hmm. before track and field. Yeah. Nice. And then I was mm -hmm. captain, so, so I have, have to be the, a leader the all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the best of both. So, yeah, so definitely sports um, 
built your character. So, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So now uh, we, we move forward to Miss International 2012, which was held mm -hmm. in Okinawa. Mm -hmm. And I, I was mentioning earlier before we started the live to Stephen that this is my favorite um, edition because um, aside from the fact that it was uh, held a year after the earthquake mm. that struck yeah. um, Japan, it gave, uh, it gave Japan uh, some sort of uh, a relief, some sort of a, a happy occurrence a happy event, um, event, event yeah to to show New that uh, to, show, to show that the country has a uh, is is um recovering and mm -hmm. i love all the activities that you had and uh, one of which is the national costume parade that you had in okinawa mm -hmm. and, uh, in koksai dori yeah, mm, yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm flashing it right now but i'm sure you can't see it <laughs> And uh, you you were wearing this um, red, super striking red costume. Yes. Do you still remember mm -hmm. this? Yes, of course. Um, actually, this is like a third time of design. Original mm -hmm. design was not like this. So we changed it from original design. Original design is more like traditional, um, uh, not geisha. Uh, what was that? Oiran, Oiran, do you know Oiran type of, it's like a geisha, but the huge ribbon in front of my belly. Yes. So my team, I had a Miss Japan team at the time. So my coach said, it doesn't work for the beauty pageant, especially for this original design. So we asked the designer to redesign and redesign and redesign. And then we decided, Finally, you know, oh, this is good enough to show my body line mm -hmm. and also represent my country. So I love this costume, really. Uh, it was a very striking costume, actually. It's very yes. rare for a Japanese delegate to wear a daring costume, but at the same time, it has um, mm -hmm. pres preserved the traditional part as well. Yeah, and then also easy to put you know, especially obi parts is always struggle because kimono struggle. actually, yeah, kimono actually <laughs> takes two hours or more than that, including hair and makeup and wearing kimono. But, mm. you know, in a beauty pageant, we have to be like this, you know, change, change, change. So we really strategically designed this costume. Mm -hmm. Who yeah, is the designer, by the, the way? If, you, if it's okay to name the designer and the team behind your national yes. costume, Junko Koshino. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I She's the best. <laughs> I actually wanted to say, it, but I wanted to come from your mouth because I know that Junko oh. Koshino is a really an amazing designer. She's all. She yeah. always uh, does this really amazing costume. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then also, and she also knows the standard of the global standard. So she's yeah, very famous, very, very yeah. famous. Mm -hmm. It's the same designer of the 2017, right? The one that won Best National Costume? The same designer of Natsuki Tsutsui when she joined uh -huh. Miss International in 2017. The green one, the one that yeah. made her win the Best National Costume. Yeah, so going back, um, 2012 was one of probably the busiest Miss International because you had a lot of activities. And uh, which which of these activities was more was your most favorite or you had the fondest memories with um you know what it's so funny but my roommate was miss hong kong mm -hmm. and at the time miss international 2012 miss china was actually boycott to join mm -hmm. miss international because political reasons so miss hong kong it's kind of same situation so the, she told me that a lot of a, a lot about political issue and people how people say to her to go into japan actually at the time mm -hmm. so i was so um uh amazed and shocked how we're connected the politically with beauty pageant mm -hmm. in my opinion even olympics or beauty pageant it's like um, 
a relationship, make a relationship with culture wise. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't political political issues shouldn't be involved. I agree. So so all those conversation with Miss Hong Kong, which my roommate was yeah. the most memorable things mm -hmm. during the Miss International. Yeah. And it's and, funny um, because right now Hong Kong is in such situation with China currently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you about probably, Miss International this year? The conversations you made with her back in 2012. I'm sorry, what do you say? Oh, I said like maybe with with what is going on right now between Hong Kong and China, probably mm. you are starting to recall those conversations that you had with Miss Hong Kong back in 2012. <laughs> Actually, I, I contact her recently because I have, um, during the lockdown, I started to my own um, TV, uh, TV show, I mean, streaming show, live streaming, streaming show. show yeah, called Kuzna. So yes. I contact her and then I invite her as a guest. And she explained to me how how situation COVID-19 over there and then also um, the Hong Kong situation right now. Mm, yeah, very sensitive so now, topic. Um, going yeah, back very. to um, Miss International 2012, you were the host delegate. And we all know that there's always a pressure when you're the host delegate. So how did you manage that that pressure of um, one um, being the host delegate and two competing against all the other candidates as well? Uh, because of I have a background, a sports background, like I explained before, I'm really good at using stress, using stress to, to help my performance first and then also my coach always told me that it's impossible to win Miss International Miss Japan to be number one in the world in Miss International especially th that year because Miss International was held in my country yes so I knew that you know it's really difficult and then my coach always telling me you have to be 120% all the time, not 100%. You have to be more than perfect every yeah. single minute. So I tried my best. I always try to be stand out and um, I always show up five minutes or 10 minutes before, I, which is always, I, I know I'm always earliest contestant. You know, so for example, six, 6 a.m. at the lobby, I'm always be like 5.45 or 5.50 at the lobby. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people realize, oh, Miss Japan always has to be perfect, perfect makeup, perfect hair, and also perfect fashion, and be prepared earliest as other contestants. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and I, as far as I know, uh, Stephen could correct me, discipline and attitude is one of the factors that plays a part when choosing Miss International. So may, I'm sure that that discipline and punctuality that you, yeah. that you had back then really made a difference. Yes. And then also, you know, um, after I won, somebody told me that it was longest you know, the deliberation in the history of the Miss yes. International. You remember? Yes. So, um, <laughs> so, I was so hungry, Kumi. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. You know, all contestants have no idea why it takes so long, you know? <laughs> and then somebody told me that actually um, it was the longest deliberation in the history of Miss International pageant and um, I was the leader in all points, mm -hmm. but you know, avoid seeming the bi bias. Mm -hmm. Some um, Japanese judges wanted to wanted to me to first run it up and politely yeah, give the, the crown to the second uh, number two person. 
Yeah, this is the thing that a lot of people actually did not uh, understand, and I hope that this would also clear things up regarding the regarding Japan being a host country and also the organizer of the international because the J- Japanese people are so humble yes. and so polite yeah. that they felt that a homegrown victory is yeah. won't look good to the international audience. I think it has something to do yeah. with the fact that Japanese are so concerned with the international image mm-hmm. more than the, you know, the the other things. So, yeah. um yeah, um I also heard stories like that regarding um regarding the whole situation the deliberation backstage um yeah. because yeah you did win in terms of points but mm-hmm. some people some, some people some yeah <laughs> there were so many judges it's not just one or two because there are so mm-hmm. many judges and some people on the judging panel thought that um japan winning in japanese soil it didn't mm-hmm. look good yeah so that's yeah. why so... it was one hour to deliberate <laughs> yeah. So one of the female judges insists, you know, that they follow the rules. So and and declare the real winner. So then called my name. Yeah, and finally Japan won after decades in Miss International. 52 years. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but but uh backtracking uh, a, a a few moments before that moment. Did it ever cross to your mind that you can actually win the whole thing? Not even once. I didn't expect it because um, I, at the final day, mm-hmm. I already had a special award, Miss uh, Photogenic. Photogenic, yes. Yeah, photogenic. So like, oh, uh, they called my name for Miss Photogenic. So it's really hard to imagine, you know, double, double winning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So until last minute, I never expected I'm I'm gonna win. Mm-hmm. And you're actually the the last winner of Miss International to win Miss Photogenic, <laughs> right? <Sita? Really? laughs> yeah, because yeah, I think yeah. they discontinued um, the award. Oh, we we brought it back last year, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, Miss Photogenic. Um, the after Ikumi winning Miss Photogenic, the Miss International mm-hmm. Miss Photogenic Award was last awarded in 2013, and at 14, from 2014 until 18, it they just, you know, they got rid of the special award. But last year, 2019, we brought it back, and the winner was Miss Guadalupe. Mm, well, why is that? Oh uh, yeah, there's an explanation, and I want to tell everyone as well regarding that thing because I think um, they felt that um, the Miss Photogenic Award, the um, the uh, the press photographers were voting there um, are not too serious in in voting. They, they, oh, I see. They it's. it's I think in 2013, that's what happened. Not so many actually voted and they just went there and then they just left. And then, but somehow we have, they have to cast their vote and then you have to count the votes. And in 2014, we changed the whole system, which is more about the girls posting photos on their Instagram and in their special, in their social media accounts. And uh, whoever has the most, uh, not the most number of likes, but the most uh, appealing photos will be judged as Miss Photogenic. And from that, Miss Guadalupe was the one who was chosen because she had amazing photos, always showing um, herself in... in you mean posting? Media. She was posting a lot, of- a lot on in her mm. social media. So we were... We, we, we scaled down the finalists into like seven or uh, like ten final ten. Those mm-hmm. were really very active in show in posting photos. Because how could you be Miss Photogenic if you don't even post photos, right? Yeah, <laughs> true. true. <laughs> so Miss Guadalupe was the winner, and she was very happy about it. You know, it, uh, the effort paid off. So it's not just about people taking photos but it's also about you taking photos come on we are now in the selfie generation so yeah. <laughs> we must as well revolutionize or adapt into the changes mm. yeah. yeah and now uh, going back to the finals night 
So okay. you mentioned earlier that uh, when you won Miss Photogenic, you did not feel that you are going to win. <laughs> so, so after the one hour break, the one hour, super long, very historic <laughs> deliberation, very historic yes. deliberation, and uh, the ju- the host finally announced the top five, <laughs> the runners up, and finally uh, Miss International 2012 is Miss Japan. So, what did you feel? Um, to be honest, it was like fresh, uh-huh. but I still remember that uh, as soon as I, I heard my name, I started to look looking for my family because my I know my family is right in front of the stage. Uh-huh. And of course, my mind is like, Dad, I want to see Dad's reaction. <laughs> so I saw my dad and he was like... <laughs> and I hold my family like yeah, and they, they're so excited, over excited. So they even came up on the stage and did hug me and touch me. So it, <laughs> the my family photos on the newspapers everywhere. <laughs> they were sitting and I, and in I'm, front, actually. Yes, yeah. and I'm sure I'm sure that uh, nobody was sitting in front. <laughs> yeah. Your dad was super, super proud because you mentioned earlier you always felt that you disappointed him. Mm-hmm. So but you finally achieved something and you became number one. Yes. So, yeah. I'm sure he was I'm super, so super happy. proud. Mm-hmm. And then my dad even said to me, you know, I'm so proud of you and you're beyond me now. Because he was the number one in the world. But at the time, I was number one in the world. Mm-hmm. He was number one in Japan, so I'm mm-hmm. sorry. So, and at this point, I want to talk about uh, the crowning, your crowning moment. Uh, Fernanda mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. crowning you. Um, do you yes. still remember what she, what were the first words that she told you after she crowned? She put the crown on your head. Oh, she oh, said she you're a rock star. star. She said that. <laughs> <laughs> She really likes my uh, Miss Talent show too. Uh, she really amazed and she talked a lot after my performance. Actually, I my Miss Talent I perform not dance. I actually sing singing in in English, in English but Japanese most famous Japanese song Sukiyaki song, and I original remix. With mm-hmm. upbeat and you know, just, just involve all contestants. Like I make a concert for myself. Yeah. So the everybody loves my uh, Miss Talent show. I really that was my um, strategic one of my strategic to win beauty pageant. Mm-hmm. It's I think it's stand out. My performance was very stand out. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of strategy, uh, mm-hmm. I remember that uh, it is very rare for Miss Japan candidates and Miss International to speak in English during the speech round, and yeah. you were you 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 braved that uh, challenge and you spoke in fluent English uh, during the speech. Uh, was it a strategy to, to to help you actually win the title? Oh, absolutely, of course. Uh-huh. Because I know one of the contestants, she, I thought she's really strong and then she can be, you know, win Miss International. But the top 10 or top, uh, top 10, she, when she had to deliver speech, she didn't even deliver her speech in English. She delivered her speech in her own language. So she didn't even come up top five. Mm-hmm. And we, English is official language for Miss International, I mean, beauty pageant. So without speaking English, we cannot deliver our mission. The point is we have to deliver what we want to do or what we can do or using platform, what we can do for the world to make a better society, to make a better world. So without English, it's really difficult to win or represent Miss International. That's why I studied a lot English. 
Mm-hmm. And it's very refreshing to hear from uh, a pageant winner to say that uh, speaking in English is actually important because other 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 girls would usually say um, it's an advantage, but it's not really that important. So it's refreshing to hear from you as a pageant winner to say that because um, especially at this time where pageants are evolving and it's not just about uh, beauty, it's more of the advocacy and all that. Yes, yeah, definitely. Because once you're winning the title, once you become Miss International, no longer just myself, no longer just yourself. It's a yes. responsibility. It's to represent people or represent women, represent country. So I have a voice. So using that platform, I have to deliver the message to all over the world. Yes. So speaking without speaking English, it's, it's difficult to do that mission. So it's very, 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 very important to speak English in beauty pageant. Without speaking English, I couldn't stand out or I couldn't take leadership from the old contestants and communication. So leadership, communication, and make friends it's the key to win winning the miss international so if you want to win miss international speaking english is must that's my opinion yeah uh, before we move yeah yeah before we move forward i, I just want to uh read uh some of our viewers uh, have messaged me they say that there's a feedback when you speak so i think there's something about your audio, Ikumi. My that, audio. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's some. There's a, a bit of a feedback. Yep. Oh, uh, you can't hear my audio. Yeah, we can hear it, but there's a, a uh, there's like some breaking of the sound. Oh, breaking yeah, sound. sound. Um. Okay, let me hear my mic. Disappeared or something. <laughs> <laughs> what about now? I don't know. I don't know. Hope it's okay. I, I think there's still some. Or breaking. I mean, too much. It's like there's voice? some cracking sound, if I'm not mistaken. Cracking you guys, sound. can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Stephen, but we can't see you. Yeah. You cannot see me, right? I think there's some some. But I can see. Camera, right? I can hear. Anyway, um, going back. So after you won Miss International, you had a very busy reign, and uh, you even traveled to the United States to witness the inauguration of Barack Obama. So uh, what were your fondest memories as uh, the reigning Miss International? Uh, first of all, uh, my winning was unexpected for Miss International organization. So we didn't even have contracts. Just in case Miss Japan win. Uh -huh. So, and no budget for after activity. So, I just collected my old personal money and then spent all the um, um, expense to travel all over the world. I went to US, Russia, and France, and other countries to meet women's, women's rights leaders and, and President Obama and John Kerry and um, many other yeah, VIP, VIP people, people. Mm -hmm. and bring what I learned back to Japan. But um, I think talking with John Kerry in the White House is the most nervous experience in my life. More than performance with international. <laughs> Why is it so? I don't know. Maybe um, <laughs> I have no idea. That was first time I went to actually the White House, and first time to meet American political. And John Kerry is, you know, and Barack Obama is the top of the top American politics. So it makes me really nervous. <laughs> I don't know. Just there, but they're really nice and friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, at this point, I want to re uh, read uh, one of the most popular questions that we got because uh, early, er, early, uh, earlier in the week, uh, we asked the 
our uh, followers to send uh, their questions if okay. they want to ask you. And the, the big, the most common question that they want to ask is, why were you not in uh, Miss International 2013 to crown your successor? <laughs> I, 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 that's not I, my, my that's not my <laughs> decision you know uh -huh. they decided they asked me to not showing up just pretend sick and not showing up on the last stage stage so i just stood up for women at the time because i did soccer campaign and uh, there, there, there are many um there, it's not that there are many sides of the story but of course we have ikumi's side of the story which is also very important because we really have to hear her side as well because at mm -hmm. that time she was in a very difficult situation as well because of the stalker that she had um and you know when you when you talk about stalkers or stalking here in japan it's a very serious matter um especially if the one who is actually attacking you is very influential it's no joke i'm telling you and at the same time, you also have the point of view of the Miss International Organization, which was brand new at that time <laughs> because it was there was a total change of um, ownership and all that. So there are there are threats towards Ikumi, and there are also threats towards the new organization. So um, it's very bad that Ikumi could not actually do her duty, a very important duty actually, to turn over. <laughs> the crown and to join the activities because of the threats coming mm -hmm. from her stalker to the mm -hmm. new organization so that's also one aspect but at the same time it's also both to protect ikumi and to protect the brand new organization which was like a new totally new which mm -hmm. had no idea how pageant is being run because mm -hmm. It was under a different ownership for so many decades, and then suddenly came the brand new ownership, which is now the current owner of the Miss International Organization or the ICA. So yeah, um, there is this there is this heart to invite Ikumi as well, but at the same time, at the same time, there is this what if sort of thing. What if they will destroy the whole event because mm -hmm. Ikumi was there? So. Um, there is really no win-win situation, I think, but you just have to choose between the lesser evil, you know, like w which one had the, the lesser, the lesser damage, but, and also we have to consider the fact that this is about the other, the delegates who came to Japan as well, because it would be totally unfair for them if the whole event is ruined, um, despite the fact that they have prepared a lot just to be here is just we have to remember as well that the pageant almost didn't happen because it's already december when it was held and yes. miss international was never held in december ever so so many factors actually new ownership ikumi's very sensitive situation and uh, yeah the fact that maybe the pageant wouldn't have been held anymore so it's uh, it's too risky and uh well yeah but i cannot really speak officially in behalf of the organization because at that time it wasn't part of the organization yet yes. so i didn't really see the 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 i didn't really know the the much deeper and more legal issue behind it but well anyway that's uh, that's that's as far as i could actually share and uh but for me, is um, being Miss International, you know, I just using my platform because I started to stop the zero campaign. Stalker issue is very serious problem in Japan right now. And when I do the campaign, I, yes, even now, I received thousands of thousands of messages, personal messages from all over the world, the victims, you know. And then I realized that, oh, this is, I have to stand up for them, especially the victim of stalking is 80%, more than 80% are women. So I thought Miss International theme or goal is to discover the leadership, the leader of the women to next generation or our generation. So, so as Miss as International, International, I felt so much responsibility, responsibility to stand up for people, people 
who doesn't have a voice, voice. But I do I have do a voice have a at the time, time because, because I won Miss International. So, so that's why I stood up and, and I take and action, action to fight, fight with my stocking. I, 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 I had I press had conference, conference to deliver the message to, 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 you know, you hey, know, look, look, stocking is a huge issue, issue right now. Right now. Why, don't why don't we change the law? The law? And then, and then I started, started to do stalker zero campaign online petition. And then my then petition my was 120,000 petitions, petitions, which is a world record, record at the at time, time in Japan. Japan. And, and um, um, my and prime, minister prime Minister, of, uh, of First of Lady, Lady Abe, Abe, was, was, was very, very close, close friend. friend. So she so stood up with me. me. And, and finally, finally, the law changing to, to the stalking stalk, about the stalking issue. So, so the Stefan says, says at the time Miss International Organization was super new. new. I, understand I understand that, that. but what? the top, the top the, the, I, remember, I remember, I'm sorry I'm if sorry I was wrong, wrong but, but at the at time, the time, the top, the, top, the, organization, the organization Miss International was, was women, women as well. As well. So, so I expected, I expected or I hope, we stood up together for, I mean, enemy or uh, injustice, injustice, then then looks looks more, more uh, power, powerful, like, like more, more you can you use, can use women's, women's power, power to change, to change the, world. the world. That's, That's the, the ideal, ideal or concept, concept for Miss International, right? right? That's, That's my, understanding. my understanding. That's why That's I stood, why I stood, stood up for women's. women's. So, so I was, I was so, so disappointed Miss International Organization's decision to me. Just they asked they ask to pretend, pretend sick, sick and not and show, not show up, up and keep silent, keep silent and not and show, not up, show up, up on stage. stage. That's, That's a really, really disappointing, disappointing for, me. for me. I understand, I understand. It's, it's it's no win no win situation, situation. But, but for me, for me it's, it's Japanese, Japanese or Japanese, or Japanese, Japanese company, company or Japanese, or Japanese culture, culture always, always think about the risk or negative first. first. So we can they cannot not push push the new thing, things so they, they cannot, cannot take a risk, risk to break through, through to do new challenging, challenging. so, so um, um they're too, too afraid, afraid to my, to my uh, stalker. stalker yes my yes, stalker my was so, so in, in, has a power, power. he can he destroy can our, our, our pageant, pageant. But, but even if even the if result, result even if we stood up and then i show up on the stage if they, they, they uh, if, uh, if he destroyed the Miss International, but what? So what? So we what can we use that, that happening, happening to, to re-deliver re that, that happening, happening to the to world, world. And, then, and then I think, I think we can deliver more, more impact, impact message, message to all over the, the world. world. That's, that's how I think. That's how, that's how I think all the time. time. Don't be, don't, be afraid, afraid, don't be afraid to make a mistake. Don't be afraid to do something new stuff. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Take, a risk. take a risk. If you take, if you take a, a think, about think about the risk first, 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 then they can they do can something, something big. big. They cannot they do something, something big. big. You know what I'm you know saying? saying? Yeah. yeah. So, so um, I understand there is two stories, my side and their side, but because of the top of the women's women's Leader, leader, the Miss International, International organization, organization was, was run, by run by women, women, women at, at, at the time. time. So, so I, I really wish, wish we can, we can shake hands shake together, together and, and fight, fight with injustice. With injustice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, do you think it's there's know, a so. for you to meet with, uh, with our current uh, president of the Miss International organization? Would you be willing to meet up with her and then just... Uh, Make amends about um, the thing that happened eight years. Ah, uh, no, seven years ago. I don't know. Uh, actually, uh, actually, I'm sorry. I don't know. Who's the missing national organization? Run, run. Who's the right now? Right now. Who is it? They changed change or Japan? Of course, of course. Yeah, it's a high opportunity. I'd love to discuss about that. About that. Yeah, because the the pageant will be celebrating the 60th year next year, and mm -hmm. being the only winner from Japan, um, it would be an it would be an honor to have you as well. 
in the event mm. because until now we're still using your photos in the <laughs> in the, yeah, in yeah. the event you're still, we, you're, Stephen, we, have, we, have we just have like, to clarify uh, ikumi was never dethroned because yeah, uh, other clarify, other friends, like she was not dethroned. we're saying that some people are saying that you were dethroned, but you have to say that there's no dethronement. Um, the internet, the International Cultural Association still considers Ikumi as the 2012 Miss International winner, and her photo is always being displayed on the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Every time there is a Miss International event, um, this life-size image of you together with yes. the other winners from 2010, I think. So hopefully, you know, if there's an opportunity, you know, especially with the situation right now with uh, with the COVID, and then we are trying to uh, reassess ourselves, and then let bygones be bygones, and be more um, appreciative and forgiving for what happened in the past, and then we just have to work work together and uh, um, show the world how 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 we could actually impact the the how we could actually move on and. Uh, yes. Positivity, yeah, yeah. you know, the different kind of positivity, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, so, yeah, it will be it will be amazing, especially if we are going to be celebrating the 60th anniversary next year. Mm -hmm. Not really 60th, mm -hmm. 60th edition, because this year is supposed to be the 60th anniversary, anniversary. but we're not doing mm -hmm. the pageant this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll try to work out on that one. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. sure. Yeah, and before we move forward to the to the lighter side of the interview, um, mm -hmm. I just want to mention that um, back in 2013, Mrs. Solji wrote an article uh, about Ikumi, and we we said uh, how we are impressed by your courage, by how you fought for what you believed in, and um, I'm I'm sure that uh, it set a precedent to all the other international beauty beauty title holders to fight for yeah, what they believe in. Because uh, yes, back I then, be before 2012, um, beauty queens are, are not really regarded as people who should have an opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I still ag I agree because um, I know several beauty pageant aspirants and contestants, especially those who are coming from Kyushu region where Ikumi is from. They still yeah. regard yeah. Ikumi as a role model and then they always think of her as one of the of the beauty queens that they look look up to and then they they know your story they know your they consider you as an inspiration because you're a very strong-willed woman and that's the kind of beauty queen that they wanted to be and i i interviewed several girls as well who think of you as a symbol of of strength and uh, woman empowerment so even though you did not finish your reign. <laughs> um, it's okay. Uh, I, I mean, like, you didn't finish your reign in such a way that normal beauty queens do, like turning over the crown, but you did actually impact the lives of so many yes. young women who dream of becoming a, 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 a beauty queen. Because, you know, what, what, what's the whole reason of becoming a beauty queen if you don't have a purpose? And yes, you share yes. that purpose. You have you have shown that uh, that a beauty queen does not have to be just you know beautiful and sexy and performer on stage, but you have to be someone with a real purpose, and you show that one. Yeah, and now on the lighter side, it's the 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 game that I was telling you earlier. So we will give you two words, and you just pick which one you like, and just explain a short a, a little bit about it about your choice. Okay. So are okay. we ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I should say red on the blue, right? Right. No. So I, you, I'll just give you two words and then just pick which one. So oh, the first. Okay. 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 The first word is the first. Um, the first is um, cats or dogs. 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 Hmm. And why? I, I I saw your Instagram account and you have a lovely a lovely dog. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, wh what do you call call him or her? Um, buddy. Um, buddy. Buddy. Yes. Okay. Yes. So my, okay. This, my, my, I met that dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I would pick dogs too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the, the next one is um, beach or city. 
beach or city? Uh, city, city. city. Oh. We have a city girl here. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Spring or autumn? Spring, spring. The cherry blossoms. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I love, I love the cherry blossoms. Cherry. The next one is um, text message or call. I couldn't hear I what you said. Yeah, uh, a text message or SNS or call. <laughs> call, call. Mm -hmm. The same. <laughs> old, old fashion, I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's easier, right? Yeah. 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 And never miss an SNS. Just call, call. I, yeah, I just, I call. I just call. <laughs> Next, uh, tea or coffee? Tea, tea. Mm -hmm. I don't drink I don't coffee. coffee. Mm -hmm. Soba or udon? Soba, soba. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. no! Okay. So I love udon, udon too. Stephen, Stephen, we, Stephen, and I, we have a different answer. We both want, we both like udon. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, I love yeah, udon too. Udon too. <laughs> Okay, the next is um, swimsuit or evening gown? Evening gown. Evening gown. Mm, well, I agree. I think many beauty queens really prefer the evening gown than the swimsuit. Because mm -hmm. it feels elegant, like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous like princess. Princess. That's no, true. No. That's true. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. We can we can wear we can wear in a swimming pool or, or beach, beach. So even in yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 special occasion, yeah. 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 special special uh, excuse, excuse yeah. 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 yeah yeah. And I think this is the final one: mm -hmm. crown or romance? <laughs> <laughs> crown or romance? romance? Yes. Mm. Crown, crown, crown. Do you have anything to add, Stephen? Oh, mm, what should what should I should I ask? Um, Olympics. Um, to do it or not to do it? <laughs> oh my! Oh, my. my. <laughs> so sensitive question. question. <laughs> oh, what? what? I'm not a politician. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not run by this by this country. country. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very polarizing um topic right now in Japan whether to would still go on with the Olympics. I know. Time, but, what, yeah. do you, what do you think? Mm. What do you what do you, what do you guys you guys think? Hey, whoa, she she, she turned the table. Drew, what do you think? <laughs> Okay, someone uh, who doesn't for, live in Japan, what do you think? Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't live in Japan, but I, I do think that if the situation gets better when when before uh, 2021, yeah, before mm -hmm. the first quarter of 2021, if it gets better, I think we should continue mm -hmm. because a lot of these athletes, some of them, this will be their last time to compete in, in the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that would be a what if moment. What if. Mm -hmm. What if I, I didn't compete? What if I compete? Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of dreams will be shattered if the, if it won't um, happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. From the point of view of the athletes, yeah, I do get it. I do get the fact that you know we have to push through with the Olympics. But mm -hmm. for me, from the very beginning, I haven't been very supportive of the Tokyo hosting because primarily, number one, when it was between Tokyo and Fukuoka to host mm -hmm. the Olympics. I was rooting for Fukuoka and Tokyo was chosen and I was very disappointed with that one. So after that, it was like, okay, nah, it doesn't matter now. And then when Tokyo, <laughs> when, when Tokyo was chosen to host the Olympics in 2020, it was like, um, well, okay, it's going to be held in Tokyo and then traffic jam, so many tourists, it's going to be hard for people living in Tokyo. And then yes. came COVID-19 and I was like, oh gosh, maybe this is not really meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is what it is. It depends on the I guess. But hopefully next year, everything, the situation is going to improve. If it's not going to improve, then there's another thing that I'm going to be worried about. Will the Miss International yeah, yeah. be held next year or not? So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. for the best. 
Yes, yes. And then also, and then also you know, it depends on the situation, situation COVID-19, COVID-19, if I can go, I can back, go back to the US or not. Or, not, or, or yes. you know, you know. <laughs> Your whole well, actually, actually, was already <laughs> picking up and then came this COVID thing. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and I'm, so, I'm so happy to be here, here actually. actually. And now, and now I'm, I'm starting, starting to make IYG 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 right now. So I... Nicholas, I, I, I interrupt you, but I think your your head, head your voice again is cracking. So I my really voice, my voice hear, cracking, cracking. Yeah, we yes. want to hear your your well, now, clearly now, now. much clearly. It's same, still the same. Same, same. Uh, what, what about, about now, now? Now it's still cracking. It's still it's cracking. Still cracking. What about, what about now? Now one two one two one two. the microphone, I think. Microphone. microphone. No, I think it's the. I think it's the. The connection, connection, the connection. Yeah. Microphone. Yeah. I think so. One, two, one, two, one, two. What about, what about? Hello, hello, hello. First hello. It was okay. It was getting worse and worse. The, the, it became more worse and worse. And worse. Ah, what's cracking, the, what's cracking. The I'm looking for. Still cracking, still cracking. What about now? What about now? Yeah, it's still, still cracking. Still, still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, can you give me yeah, a minute, minute? One minute. Sure. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, um, I'll give you a minute just to fix it up so that we could actually clear you much. We could hear you much clearly. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, while while we are doing fair. that, I just want to read some of our comments. So, uh, hi to uh, Nelly, Nelly, Nelly. Hello, thanks for watching. And um, to uh, Jeffrey Kumbawa Kumisa Ikumisan. Kumbawa. Uh, now, now, you mean clearly? Yeah, still, still the same. Still the same. Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry. From uh, Florence. Hello, hello, Florence. And um, we have actually many fans. Ikumi. Yeah, Julian really? Luca. Really? Ikumi San is still beautiful as ever. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. You're, you're, you're so, so sweet. sweet. <laughs> yeah. RC Toribio Kawaii. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, SP, uh, so intelligent. <laughs> thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Yeah. Rene Maliari, hello. Hello, Rene. Yeah. And uh, another one from Julian Luca, so, so proud of her. What a very inspiring woman. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Yeah. And um, Jonathan Katunao said, wow, maybe the first queen to compare the discipline required of a pageant contestant to an athlete. <laughs> and I agree. I think it's, I think she's the first one to, to, really? Do, really? Uh, to do that here in uh, Mrs. Soldier Beauty Talks. Mm. Such and, a uh, honor. Yeah, yeah. I, have to, I have to say yes, that's true. Another one from Ian Acedillo. Konnichiwa, Miss Ikumi. Uh, you even look better compared back in 2012. Greetings from the Philippines. Thank you. <laughs> I think that's one, one, one thing about uh, beauty, pa- beauty pageant winners after mm-hmm. the rain, mm-hmm. because there's no more, no more pressure and stress. You get more beautiful. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Another one from uh, watching from uh, our Twitter account. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Francisco, hi everyone. Greetings from the Philippines. Hello, Fran. Um, here's another one from DV. Maybe Stephen can read. I think it's a question. Number one, ni naru tame ni kokoro ga kite itakoto nan desu ka? Like, um, it's just a question. She was asking, um, what what does it take um to be number one? Number one, ni naru tame ni kokoro ga kite itakoto wa nan desu ka? Wow, wow it's so it's many so things, many things but stand out, stand out, or, or everything, everything, everything stand out, stand out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, stand yeah. out. Stand out. Stand out. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. afraid. Com- be, com- be competitive. competitive. Mm-hmm. And Dini another one from... Miss Supranational Kumamoto. She's joining in a national oh. pageant next week. Hello mm-hmm. and good luck to your pageant. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> yeah. And uh, one, another one from Richard. Now I understand why she won the title in 2012. She is so beautiful and intelligent. 
Exactly. That's what people thank, should thank pay you. much more intention, attention, you know, mm. the beauty and the intelligence combined mm -hmm. because that's yeah. what yes. makes yes. a Miss International winner. Mm. Yes, yes. yes. Woman, woman, woman is woman not, is not product, just product, you know. You know. Woman, is woman is not, not just, just beauty, beauty. Symbol. symbol, you know. We, we have a voice, voice, we have brain, brain, and we have heart. And I have to add, I remember back in 2012 when uh, in the in the misogy form, I wasn't a, a correspondent back then, and I was I was one of the very few who actually mm -hmm. liked Ekumi during Miss International 2012, and I was just so afraid to put you as number one because you were one of, you were my favorite back then, uh, together with Miss Dominican Republic. Oh. Yeah, but I remember what, what? I I wrote I wrote in the in the prediction article that um, Ikumi will be the the biggest surprise. And it happened. <laughs> you actually won. And I'm sure Stephen can attest to that. <laughs> yeah, because I copy pasted your article. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you said, you said, I, 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 you're afraid of it. Yeah, because uh, I, I, I felt that like it was very rare to have a, a Miss Miss Japan who is so uh, elegant and so well spoken, and you actually hit hit all that check marks to me. <laughs> Thank okay, you. and finally, <laughs> the, the last the last comment I want to read is from. Uh, so when men love from Myanmar. So hello from oh, Myanmar. Yeah. Oh, hello. Myanmar. Myanmar. Hello. Then, there's another one from uh Unjun. Uh, maybe you can read it again. That was TV. She was that's the same person who actually that's the same the person. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so um at this point, um at, before we we uh, conclude uh, the interview, I just want to show a very special photo. Are you ready, Stephen? <laughs> a very special photo. Yeah, this is a photo of uh, Ikumi and Stephen. Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> so, when was this, Stephen? It was in 2014, I think six years ago. Six years, six years ago? ago? Oh, oh, oh that is, it's, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Time, time so fast. 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 <laughs> but yeah, you haven't, you you're haven't aged. Your... Me. I know. Really? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Radiant, beautiful, and youthful looking. And me, I think I have already aged a lot. Oh, God. No, <laughs> no, no. You, you never, you never changed change well. as well. Yeah, you had more hair there, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What happened to those hair? <laughs> So last, so last can, I, can I say something? something? Yes. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Can you hear, can you my, hear voice my voice really now? now? Not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. Not really, but it's better. Not really. Not really. Okay. 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 So, so since, since I, I um in Japan, in Japan I, I had so much so much so much message, message from current current contestants, contestants. Miss Miss potential, potential Miss Japan, Japan. girls girls women women. I think audio has a problem again audio has, audio has a problem, problem again yeah we're hearing we're hearing two two ikumis really you guys you guys speak to me yeah. what, about, what about now now no no can you hear me hear me no 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 i'm, I'm so, so sorry, sorry. What, what can i do can i do nothing i nothing can do, I do right do. now right now yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're on at the home stretch of the interview, so it's okay. Can I can I can I continue, can I continue? Yeah. or, or yeah. no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Please continue. So, so. I'm gonna I'm talk very slow, very slow. Okay. okay. Then you guys, you guys can, can hear. Hear. Hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> okay. 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 So since, so since I, I I'm here, I'm here in, Japan. in Japan, lot of lot of tests 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 realized, realized I'm, I'm in Japan. Japan. So, so I received, I received so, many so many direct direct messages from, from potential potential Japan, Japan women women. Like, like they, they asked, asked me to, to listen, listen coach, coach or, or give them, give them tips, tips to win win the beauty pageant. pageant. Mm -hmm. so, so so I started, started I was IYG Beauty Academy. I'm not I'm sure, not sure um, um, but but so so if you you give me if if you wanna you wanna some tips, some tips or advice, advice or if you wanna take, take a listen, listen with, me, with me, please go, please go to, to me, 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 me,
So I just want to repeat that uh, girls who are in Japan, uh, if they want to uh, get some advice from Ikumi, they can go to her website. It's ikumi.com. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, now I want to pass the mic to Stephen. Stephen, uh, your, your, your mic is muted. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I want to pass the mic say. to Stephen. Uh, I will just say for... in Japanese. Mm -hmm. I will say in Japanese what you have said a while ago to all the uh, subete no eh, Miss Kony challenge stay. Minasama ni eh, kanshite eh, Ikumi san kara no message ga arimashita. Moshi nani ka ga Miss Kon to ka number one inari tai to ka eh, Miss Kony challenge stay kata kata ni eh, kyomi ga areba Ikumi dot com to you ano sano website ni eh, tazenete eh, kanojo. Thank you for that, Stephen. And now I want to pass the mic to you again for um, your usual question. Yeah, for my final question, because I am actually following the career of Ikumi right now in Hollywood. Um, I have seen a couple of movies. I didn't like the other movie because you die there. You were shot. You were so soaked in blood. Car, car, I am then. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I died, died. Your, your I was shot, shot. I wish you all the success. So right now I want to know about what... what how can we see, or how do you see yourself in the next five to ten years? Uh, okay, okay, so, so I do I do I do I'm I'm living in Hollywood, 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 Hollywood right now, now as, as, as an actor and an stunt woman. woman. And, and HBO, HBO TV series, series called, called West World, World, World Season, season two. 2. I am in, in as a stunt, stunt woman. woman. And it's, and it's nominated, nominated for, for Stunt, Stunt Award, Award. We, got, we got we won one Emmy Emmy Award. So, so I'm, I'm really, really proud, of proud of that. So so if you you can you can see me in, in Westworld, Westworld World Two to HBO. HBO. And also, and also I have I have own production, production company, company now now. So, so I keep I keep making, making my own my own movie and show film martial arts shows. And TV and series. series, so, so you will you will see the future, future, future. Big, big surprise, surprise TV series, series right now. Right now. So, so <clears> I will I will be posting, posting about, about my project, my project on, my, on my website, website and, and social, social media. media. So, at, so my, at my at, at me, 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 and then you, and then you will see me. See me. Yeah, thank you yeah, for that. Thank you so much. I, I, yeah. thank you, and thank uh, you. finally, the the last question. This is a, a usual question that we ask to all the beauty queens that we've interviewed. So aside from becoming Japan's first and so far the only Miss International, mm -hmm. how do you want people to remember Ikumi Yoshimatsu? It's many really good, really good questions, but, but I've, I've, I've done, I've, I've done yet. them yet, so, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm not done yet, yet so. so I'm not, I'm not done yet. Done yet so. <laughs> okay, that is such so a very well, powerful answer yeah. to me, actually. You know, I'm not done yeah, yet. I'm, I'm not, not yet. done yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, so, I'm not done yet. Watch out for more of Ikumi. If you want to know more about her, follow her on her Instagram account and uh, on her website at ikumi.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we wrap up this uh, interview, I just want to announce that. Uh, um mrs solji's beauty talks is now on spotify spotify so um Yay. if you want to listen to our, all the our previous episodes but you don't want to see our faces <laughs> you can go to <laughs> spotify and we are also available on uh, anchor anchor.fm slash mrsology so we will be uh posting all the other um all the other episodes in the days to come so please do watch out for that so again, uh, Ikumi, thank you very much for uh, agreeing to sit down with us and do this interview. I know we've discussed some, sen some sensitive topics, but at least we've cleared the air now. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. Um, once again, girls, if you want to follow, um, if you want to 
heed some advices from a, from a crown beauty queen. We have ikumi.com. Follow her on her Instagram account and on Twitter and uh, the social media account. So here, you can see it from there. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, so made a mistake. Un here. <laughs> Until the I next know, know, uh, know. episode, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Uh, please follow us on our social media accounts. They are flashed at the bottom of the screen. And um, see you next time. So thank you, Stephen, and thank you, Ikumi. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you 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 so much.